Today, I'm gonna show you how simple and easy dip powder application can be. Welcome, welcome, come on in. If you are new here, my name is Dee and this is Aloft Aloft. My channel is all about beauty, lifestyle, and natural hair. Now while the dip powder process is easy and simple, I don't want you to be fooled by the five minute or three minute ads that so many of you have already seen. On average, it takes me about 30 minutes to do a set, 45 minutes if I need to soak off my old set and prep my nails. And of course, it's a little longer if I'm doing a detailed design, but most of my sets are 30 minutes. I'm gonna take you through this easy process because some of the comments I get say it's too many steps or it's too much work. Trust me, I get it, I understand. But I don't want you to see my initial nail boo video and think dipping is complicated. Many steps I do and have shown in my previous videos can be skipped because dipping is all about a personal preference. Do what works best for you. Let me say that again. Do what works best for you. Now, let's go through the basics. I'm already starting after prep. If you aren't familiar with prep or unsure of how your prep works, check out the video that I will link above as well as in the description box. When I dip, I always start with build powder, which is what you see me doing here. Some use clear powder, but again, this step is optional. This is the first step. It's completely optional. You don't have to use either one. Your first dip can be directly into the color of your choice. But I use build powder. So once I dip my finger into that, I go around my cuticle with a wooden cuticle stick, which is what you see here. But you can also use any sharp object, for example, a dotting tool or a toothpick would work perfectly fine. So I do one dip of build powder and then I move on to my color powder. Depending on the color, how sheer or how rich it is, I may apply two or maybe even three layers of color. Two is my normal, but sometimes I will do three if it's a bit too sheer. As I mentioned in the beginning, you can skip some of the steps I do, especially here. I dip my fingers twice to make sure that the liquid is fully absorbed. You may choose to only dip once before brushing off the powder. It's your choice. I apply two to three layers of color. As I've said before, you may decide to apply one layer of color, or you may decide to apply four layers of color. Again, it's your choice. However, be mindful that the thinner your layers are, the more prone you are to experience cracking and even chipping. Once you're done dipping, whether it's color or clear or glitter, once you're done dipping, activate the nails. You have to activate the nails to cure or harden the dip powder. And this prepares your nails for filing. File and buff away any roughness or bumps that you feel along the surface or the free edge of your nail. This step can save almost any set of dip powder nails. It doesn't matter, let me say 99% of the time, it doesn't matter how bad your nails look going into this step. All you have to do is file and buff your life away and get your nails to the shape that you want, the smoothness that you want, and it will be fine.
as a bonus tip do not wash your hands most soap have oils and you do not need moisture or oil on your nails all you have to do is brush off the falling dust with either a fluffy or stiff brush before moving on to your next step now if you're enjoying this video so far and feel these steps are simple and easy to understand as well as helpful please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Activator, this one can be an optional step as well. It all depends on the brand that you're using as well as the previous steps that you have done. Some brands do not say go back with the activator after filing and buffing your nails. Some people may not feel they need to file or buff their nails. If either one of those are the case, you can skip this activator step. But if you are one of those who is using a brand that says to apply activator again, or if you have filed and buffed your nails, this is a step for you. So you will need to apply the activator to your nails one more time, just a quick thin layer, and then you're ready for the next step. Before applying the top coat, Allow the activator to completely dry. Then wipe your nails with a cloth or a paper towel that contains a little alcohol. We're talking about rubbing alcohol here, not drinking alcohol, because I have received that question before. You're gonna use rubbing alcohol to wipe your nails. This is going to remove any residue that may be on your nails. Now, once that is done, allow that to completely dry as well. Then you apply your top coat. By using the alcohol before, it's gonna also help prevent your top coat brush, the bristles, from getting stiff and hardening. And now that that's done, all that's left to do is admire your work and be proud of your dip powder nails. So as always, thanks for watching.